Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. Today it's raining outside, so I'm gonna be making another video from inside the garage. But I have a exciting install. We're gonna be talking recovery gear and specifically recovery gear for Be installing some factor 55 products which are winch recovery gear that is just high quality premium premium stuff that I'm gonna add to my winch as you know recently I just installed a worn Evo 12,000 pound winch on my front bumper all of this is to just help complement the worn winch and it is a way of creating a closed system while winching which is much safer and this holds true from anyone from a beginner to a professional this is just superior premium quality gear. The three items I'm going to be talking about is the Factor 55 Fairlead. I'm also going to install a hitch link for the rear. And then the one I'm most excited about is this called the Ultra Hook, which will go on the front winch. So let's talk about the Fairlead first. Um, all of this stuff is made with Milspec hard anodized billet aluminum. The anodizing helps prevent the fairly from getting damaged by rocks and debris and it's supposedly as hard as sapphire. It only comes in one color. It comes in a gunmetal gray which I think is pretty cool. My bumper is black so it'll just give a little bit of an accent and then with the ultra hook I got the red ultra hook so I'll just add a little bit of color and I'm not mad at that. I don't mind it. It's uh, form over function in this case. Let's get to the fun part and of course that's the installation. As you can see I just removed the worn Fairlead that comes with the winch. Um, this is a good Fairlead, nothing wrong with it. Like I said it's just that steel um, where the Factor 55 is that nice smooth military grade aluminum so it's going to be much better on the synthetic rope and it's that gunmetal color. This is what it looks like. So we're just going to use the hardware that came with the winch and install that in the factory holes. It should be pretty easy. And since we're talking about the front, I'll talk about the ultra hook here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Ooh, baby. So imagine this is coming from the winch rope. This is around your tree or wherever it's attached to. And then you have a shackle. This shackle pin is going to fit through that hole so that you now have a closed system. Much safer. They actually advertise this as the world's safest winching system. And I believe it uh, from the research I've done and from what I've seen, it just looks far superior. So this one I'm really excited about being able to use that shackle in this fashion. It also comes with this detent pin here. So you can take this pin out and use it like a traditional hook, but it gives you the additional security of this pin going through. So now this is a locked system. The other thing I like is there's the grip on the bottom. Uh, this reminds you to hook up. If you go to Factor 55's website, they have all these videos of stress tests where they're pulling on this to their max limit and they're, they're testing it until it breaks. And they've found that every time it breaks, it's gonna go to the hole and this part breaks, the line and everything is gonna fall down. But if it pulled with enough strength to break it and you're hooked down, that winch could fly back and be a hazard. So it's the best practice is to hook up. That's why the finger grooves are on the bottom. It just kind of reminds you while you're attaching that to attach it from the bottom. While we're talking about breaking strength, the max load for this ultra hook is 16,000 pounds. That's the rating. And then there's a range for a breaking strength of 31,000 to 48,000 pounds, depending on whether you're using that closed winching system or whether you're using the latch. Really high quality, good stuff here. Now the hook that comes with the Warren, there isn't anything necessarily wrong with it. It's gonna work. I just have issue with if the rope's gonna turn this way or this way and it goes against that latch. This doesn't seem that durable. 
the Factor 55 is gonna be a huge upgrade. Let's go ahead and get it installed. So you will need some snap ring pliers. I had these channel locks and I thought this would work but they didn't quite get down deep enough. So you need the actual snap ring pliers that are made for automotive parts. There's a snap ring on the inside that you pull out and then now you can remove that pin and we're gonna install that rope in there and slide the pin back through and then put the snap ring back in place. So that's what holds it in, that's what keeps it as a closed system. We're also going to install the hitch link. This is the hitch link 2.0. It has a max load of 9,500 pounds with a braking strength rating at 50,000 pounds. This is just another way to add a closed winching system on the rear end of my vehicle. So it pops it in the tow hitch, lock it in with the locking pins, and then you're able to attach a shackle on there. Closed system. Now we're talking. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this. For mine to get enough clearance to actually install the shackle, I have to uh, just go to the first hole. All right, I'm now locked in in place and we're gonna add the shackle. I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but the rain just stopped and the sun's coming out. So that means I'm gonna go try and find some mud and try and get stuck. That install was such a breeze, piece of cake. I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you found this video useful at all. Subscribe, I post videos like this every week. I'm currently building this 2020 Chevy Silverado into an overlanding rig for me and my family to go camping. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, go ahead and subscribe, I appreciate it. And as usual, I'll remind you guys to get outside Stay hydrated and keep on moving.